Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will explore advanced tabs Gutenberg block. So to explore the block, you have to install this plugins in your website. And you can start with a base or post, or you can start in your existing base or post or any post type. I have created a new base that is called our tabs block. If you successfully install your plugins, and if you click on this plus icon, you will find out there is the category advanced tabs block. Uh, under this category, horizontal tab is available to use. So for your quick start, you can go to this pattern section and you will find a tabs blocks new pattern category. And if you click on this category, you will find out there are about five pre-built tab panels are available to use in short. If you want to start your journey quickly, you can simply drag and drop or click on this. So I want to start using this one, just simply want to click on this one. And you can see a new design is imported in our editor. Now you can simply edit all of this content as per your need. And you can customize all of the settings. You will find there are two tabs are available, one is settings and another is a design to customize your tab content. First one is the tab items and you can see by default there are three tabs are available here. You can add a new item from this area. I mean, if you click on this button, you will get a new tab. Suppose I want to click on this here and you can see there is fourth add tab is added in our editor. You can also expand this uh, panel to see the tab settings. Like you can type to the tab title. You can also type from here also and you can hide or show the icon from here. There are two types of icons are available. One is the using the icon library. You can simply click and you will get some by default icons are available here. Suppose I want to add this icon in my tab. You can also delete it from here or you can use a custom SVG code options. You can simply paste your SVG code here and it will be visible in this tab. If you don't like these tabs and want to remove, you can simply click on the icon, then you will get it done. So this is our first tab and second and third tab. So I want to give the same content and want to publish. And if you see the front end result, I will see now it is working like this one. And it is working fine. So if you want to change this content, you can simply do it. For this tab, you can define the alignment, icon positions, a gap, and icon gap. You can align this content at the center, right, justify, and left. So by default, it is test trees. I mean, it is justify content. You can change the icon position like fourth, bottom, right, left. And you can change the icon gap also, like this is our icon gap. By default, I want to give it zero. You can also increase or decrease the icon gap from here. So by default, I want to keep it like 10 pixels. You will also get the title separator. You can use the title separator here. So as I have to make it visible. And you will get uh, in the design part, you will get the title separator part. Simply increase the title separator weight like one pixel. You can change the color from here, like make it gray or black. Or you can choose any kind of color, custom color from here. If you don't like this, you will simply make it hidden. You will get other settings from here to customize all of this content, like a background, padding, margin, border radius, border, and border style. For the individual title, you will get all of the settings here, including the typography. You can change the typography from here, like speak a font. It can be the server go to. I just want to fix the server go to. You can change the other typography setting from here, like make it bold. You can change the font size also from here. I want to keep it the default. You'll be able to change the color, border, border radius, padding, margin, and background. For this icon, you also also get two settings. So one is the icon size, and other is color. You can increase or decrease the icon size from here. I want to keep it default. You can change the icon color from the set, like make it red, perfect, and a white color, or oh, sorry, yellow color. You can change the active tab settings. 
for this active tab you can change the tab color and corresponding other settings including to the icon settings also like for this tab i mean this active tab i want to change the icon color like this one or this one or try to make it white so once you've finished your all customization simple update and refresh to see the result and you can see now it is working fine so i think you understood how to use this uh, new advanced tab blocks in your quitting back editor thank you